The Extend Surface tool can be used to extend existing surfaces to perform further interactions with other surfaces or bodies. In this video, we will go into the nuances of the options available in the Extend Surface feature. So I have a couple of surfaces here and a solid. Let's start the Extend Surface feature. We can pick a multiple edges or faces, or a combination of both. The limitation is that all edges or faces picked have to be on the same surface body. At this point, if we pick on an edge from the other surface and try to exit the feature, we will get a warning that says that all extended edges must be on the same surface body. Let's clear the field. When we pick on an edge, if there are tangent edges next to it, a prompt will be available for you to propagate your selection. You can pick on multiple edges that are not next to each other. If you pick on a face, all edges that are not connected to another face will be extended. Unfortunately, the Extend Surface tool cannot be applied onto solids. In this case, we will need to make a copy of the surface using the Surface Offset feature and apply the Extend Surface on that copy. Let's talk about the end conditions. Surfaces can be extended by a certain distance like in an extruded boss base. It can also be used as a way of offsetting internal openings or totally removing them by specifying a distance beyond a point where the surface overlaps itself. The next option is to extend it up to a point or vertex. This point can be part of the same body or another body. For example, I can choose to extend this edge of the surface up to a point on this solid body. An interesting application of this is when you pick a point that is directly opposite the direction of extrusion. SOLIDWORKS automatically calculates the distance between this point and the selected edge and applies that distance to the extrusion. You can extend up to a surface. This surface can be a surface body, the face of a solid body or a reference plane. Here, I have set up a surface which I want to extend this edge to. Just pick on the Up to Surface option and select the surface as a reference. To use the surface of a solid, that surface needs to fully encompass the edge to be extended. For example, in this case, the reference surface is in the form of a rectangular face of a solid. Viewing normal to the rectangle, you can see that the surface does not fully encompass the edge. When I try to extend the edge up to this surface, I get an error message. It is only when I enlarge the rectangle to fully encompass the edge that the extend surface becomes successful. Let's move on to the extension type. Here we have a surface created from an arc. If you select same surface, SOLIDWORKS evaluates the existing surface geometry and the resulting extension follows that geometry. If you select linear, a planar surface that is tangent to the edge is created. Lastly, extended surfaces are automatically knitted into the existing surfaces. They do not create extra surface bodies. You can confirm this by looking at the Surface Bodies folder.